Jimmy King and Renee Austin for the blues break this morning. You know, I'm a pessimist, I'm a moody 20-year-old cynic, and I'm incredibly anxious and socially awkward, so people often ask me why I want to be an entertainer. You know, why do I work at the radio? <laughs> I mean, is it for the fame, the fortune? Yes. I don't have a story for you today. Instead, I want to talk about social media, specifically Facebook. Ooh, hot button issue. Yeah, Facebook has uh, Facebook has single-handedly ruined the internet. Let me explain. Uh, it's it's not Facebook's fault. It's the people that that use it, right? How awful are we? You know, we get this tool that allows us to connect with old friends, express ourselves creatively, professionally, share and store beautiful memories with friends and family. Even connect with people we don't know all around the world from different backgrounds, lives that we'll never know, never experience. We can use Facebook to live vicariously through them all for free. And we take it and use it to rant about politics and repost old memes. Now the memes, they, you know, the cringe can hurt a little bit, but there's, it's nothing compared to the politics. Oh my God. Uh, Facebook must be at least 75% politics at this point. I got, and I gotta be honest with you, my friend, I, uh, I don't care about your opinion, all right? It, much like you shouldn't care about mine, you know? You could walk up to me in the street, to my face, just say, I don't care about your opinion, okay? And I give you a big smile, a handshake, we'd be on our way. If only it were that easy, right? Many people, they're so self-righteously insecure. They think everyone should think the way they do. And they lash out through Facebook. Can you imagine that? What's worse is when people finally try to provide some comedic relief to all the tension unnecessary on this stupid website, it's n almost never funny. Almost, <laughs> almost zero, but let me give you an example. I saw a post recently uh, that really deserved the attention it got. It was about replacing door hinge plate screws with four inch screws because the supplied screws are laughably small, so it's easy for a burglar to break into your house, kick your door in, right? A security tip, which is very useful. What could go wrong, right? And then you read the number one comment. Now, mind you, this comment has uh, has 11,000 likes, okay? And it's from a man named Brandon. Uh, and it goes like this. <clears throat> nice tip, but after watching Home Alone and Home Alone 2, I'd like to try the miscellaneous traps around the house so I can light the burglar's head on fire and swing paint cans in their face as they ascend the stairs. Winky face emoji. Oh, Brandon, you prankster. Let's talk about why... It's, this is not funny at all. Not even a little bit funny. He starts off strong with the nice tip, okay? Pointless exclamation, number one. And also, not something a normal person would ever say, okay? It's Facebook, not LinkedIn. Follows it up with, uh, but after watching Home Alone and Home Alone 2, completely pointless, okay? Could have just said Home Alone. Literally the same thing happens in both films. It's the same exact plot. Also, people would have assumed that you were just talking about the entire franchise if you said Home Alone and stopped. Uh, there, but he doesn't stop there. No, he keeps going. Rest of the comment reads, Miscellaneous traps around the house so I can light the burglars head on fire and swing paint cans into their faces as they ascend the stairs. Whole lot going wrong here. Number one, it's way too long. Uh, miscellaneous, totally pointless word there. Could have taken it out. Also, it's long and just is, makes you look like a tool. Not gonna lie to you, Brandon. Swing paint cans while they ascend the stairs. No human being says ascend the stairs. When's the last time? Brandon, do you say ascend the stairs? I don't believe you, okay? Ascend, hey, could you ascend the stairs and grab my phone for me? Nobody. Nobody says that. Uh, what am I getting at? <laughs> well, what's the point? The point here is we, we all need to agree to set aside differences, at least on Facebook. Okay, the dumbest place. It could be such a powerful tool, so leave it as a place to spread love and happiness. Don't try to be funny, unless it is. Don't post about politics. Don't care so much about a social media site. And also send me a friend request. That's Brock St. Clair. I'm trying to look more important on my resume. Also, listen to The Juke. It's the show that airs every Sunday right here on WMSV, 6 p.m. to midnight. Blues music, my friend. Blues that hates Facebook. I got Harry Styles up next with Sign of the Times. I'm Brock St. Clair. It is WMSV. Thank <laughs> you.